My name is Jean Fajadé. I'm an interventional cardiologist in Clinic Pasteur, Toulouse, France. And uh, we'd like to, uh, today uh, to talk about our experience of uh, robotic PCI using the Corendus uh, robot system uh, in the uh, General Electric Innova IGS-5 environment. We organize our CAT lab for a remote PCI uh, program with the Corendus robot station in the control room associated with the remote control of the uh, IGS-5. All the TV screen, Angel Live, reference image, hemodynamics, ECG table and patient view are in the control room. And we could do from this control room contract injection, balloon inflation with end deflator from the control room. That's the first image of uh, uh, the robotic in place. Uh, you could see the arm, which is uh, placed on the left side of uh, the table. At the end of the, uh, the tip of the end of the arm, you could see here in yellow the cassette. And the nurse uh, will uh, open at the beginning of the procedure this cassette in order to place the guide wire and the uh, device, balloon, catheter, or stent. Pressure, of course, is connected, and the power injector is uh, inside the room, and it should be uh, started. Uh, we could start the injection from the control room. Here's a picture of the control room with two main two main things. First, on the right, we have the remote control of the IGS system, and on the left, uh, the control of the robot. Here you could see the control of the IGS system with the two pedals for fluoroscopy and uh, graphy. And uh, here you can move the table up, down, and remove the, uh, the, 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 pl the plant capture. Here you could see with the right hand, we can uh, take care of the uh, uh, GE uh, X ray uh, device and uh, we could uh, follow the procedure on the different screen and you have in the middle the picture from the camera uh, placed at the top of the, uh, the roof could see uh, uh, during the procedure the patient. We work with uh, uh, GE Innova Sense. We give us the possibility to have a, a, a strict uh, uh, short uh, distance between the body and uh, the, the, the capture. And this is uh, done automatically and not manually. So when you combine this uh, uh, capture plus the, uh, the robotic system uh, placed from the control room, you can imagine that uh, uh, the CAT lab team will receive a neglig negligible X-ray dose exposure. Here you can see from the right uh, uh, stick, you could see that we can move the guiding catheter. In the middle, the wire. On the left, the uh, device. And here we can do some uh, angio uh, injector. Here some example with a proximal LED uh, lesion. Here a long lesion of the right. Here a graft, a graft uh, lesion. Here a patient with a, a LED diagonal bifurcation. Here a patient with a multivessel disease and the result of the placement of stent in LED and two on branches. And finally a patient with a combined uh, osteal left main and uh, osteal right coronary artery lesion and the result after the, the procedure. Results are good in hospital or one month's uh, result with really low, uh, really low rate of uh, uh, event. And so we could see in conclusion that uh, what we have learned is uh, this particular good, uh, uh, more than good compatibility between the uh, Corendus Robo and the uh, GEIGS5 environment. The ergonomy is excellent for the, the operator. The, we have an optimal integration with this uh, remote command and what is important for all the CAT lab team, an extremely low X-ray dose exposure for safe procedure with uh, high success and very low complication rates.